Finally, breaking down Dear Jimmy. Probably a year too late, but better late than never, I guess. Um, as always, this lesson will be broken up into sections, and you can find time codes for all of the sections down in the description. So without further ado, let's get started. So for all of this section, and for pretty much all of the next section, um, I'm just straight up thinking like E minor pentatonic. So um, we're gonna start kind of in that open position of E minor. Gonna put our ring finger on the third fret of the B string. That's our first move. We're gonna go up to five. Um, and I'm hitting that with a rake. So you wanna kind of mute all the other strings to get that attack. So we're gonna slide up to five, do a trill, six, then back down to five, pull off to the index finger, third fret of the B string, and then pull off to open. Then I take my index finger, um, and I'm going. Now he uses the, uh, the trem bar a lot um, in this section. Um, there are a couple places where the trem arm really stands out to me. Um, so that I'll definitely make note of those, um, but but for now we're gonna kind of just ignore this, and you can throw it in how how you want to. Um, so for this next section, this next part, we're going two, three, two, three, two, open, two on the D, open on the D. Now we have a series of slides. So that's up to five of D. And then we're gonna start back on two and slide up to four. So now take note of when I'm picking. I'm not gonna spell it out, but um, just kind of watch and hopefully you can pick up on it. Now we're going with the middle finger to five of A. Then up to the seven of A. Pick again there, slide down to two. Pick again, slide up to five. And then we have, so that's three, two, three, two, open on the E string. Play the whole section nice and slow. So in this next section, we're coming right out of. Now, when I pull my index finger off of that, I'm not gonna just take my hand completely off. I kind of set up for like an E minor, um, like a power chord kind of. So I'm gonna hit open, two, two on the E, A, and D string, barring my index finger. Ring finger goes up to the fourth fret of the D string. So that's the whole move right there. So we're going E, second fret of the A, second fret of the D, ring finger grabs the four of D, slide up to the five of D, and then I'm kind of thinking like a G major triad. Then we're gonna go uh, pinky on the five of B, Slide that up to the eight of B. And then on the E string we have, so five, seven, and then again, five, seven, pull off, back down to five. Back down to that eighth fret of the B string, five of the B string, and then we're gonna take our ring finger and we're gonna play seven and immediately slide up to nine on the G string. 
So there we have nine on G, eight on B, seven on E. Then we have 10 on E and sliding up to 12. So that whole thing so far. Then we're gonna re-strike that E string. So we have 12, 10, 12 on B, 11, 10, and then 12 on G. Sliding down to the nine of G. So nine, seven, nine, eight, seven on B, nine, seven, let me do that again just because I get lost. Um, yeah, that's that's where that's where we ended. Um, then ring finger, we're gonna take to the eighth fret of the D string, slide that up to the nine. And then we're gonna strike that G string on the seventh fret and really kind of lay into it and bend up to. We're kind of starting to get up to the ninth fret, but um, before we actually reach that with the bend, we just finger the ninth fret with our, with our ring finger. And then we're gonna take our ring finger, put it on the nine. So that's nine, slide down to seven, pull off to five of D. And then we have seven, five on the A string. So that's nine, 10, nine, seven, five on the A string. And then we have kind of like a series of triads and dyads, chords, if you will. Um, so that's like an E minor, E minor seven, if you will. Um, so ring finger on the seven of A, index on the five of D, uh, pinky on the seven of G, and then striking an open B string. Time. Move these two fingers, this ring and this index, down one fret, and then we're gonna we're gonna kind of loop this maneuver twice. So, so just lowering the note that's on the A string down to the middle finger. Now move that down. Ring fingers on the four of A now. Index is on the two of D. Lowering that A string note again to the middle finger, uh, so on the third fret of the A string. And then from here, slide this shape down one fret and add your ring finger to the second fret of the G string. So. Touch your uh, trim arm a couple times. Give it some movement. Um, so that whole section nice and slow. Section number three, um, we're gonna start on the 12th fret of the low E string. So we're gonna pick that and then immediately move that finger to the A string, 12th fret, and strike the, the open E string and the A string simultaneously. So as soon as you strike, you're gonna slide that ring finger up to the 14th fret of the A, back down to 12, pull off to 10. We're gonna take our middle finger, throw that on the 10th fret of the E string, and then our index finger gets the nine of the A. Strike the open D string, and then 
slide the shape down two frets. So we're effectively playing an E minor, a D major, and a C major. Do it again. Now rather than striking the open D string, we're going to take our pinky, hit the harmonic on the 12th fret of the D string. And now, rather than moving down to this C shape, we're gonna play the C shape, same shape, but down here on the third fret of uh, the A string. But the way that we're gonna finger that is we're gonna kinda make it nice and bassy by putting the fifth of the chord in the bass. So, our, I mean, let me come out of middle finger slides down, third fret of the E string, ring finger gets added to the third fret of the A string. So strike the E, A, and D, which is open at this point. Oops, sorry. So you're hammering your index finger onto that second fret of the D string. There's a little bit of movement. All right, and then, then we have this little dominant run. So we're, we're playing C, but now we're moving to like a B7. So the way that's going to go, we're going to take the shape that we were on for C, slide it down one fret, add your pinky to the second fret of the G string, strike the open B string, pinky goes to the second fret of B. Now you're going to slide your pinky up to the fourth fret of B, um, but then you're going to you're going to play a B7 chord. So you're going to bar your index finger on the second fret of the A through B string and then your ring finger is going to get added to the 4th fret of the D string. So one more time. So from there, you're going to slide your pinky up to the 5th fret of the E string, and the index finger is barring the, uh, the high E string on the 2nd fret. And we're just going to grab that 12th fret harmonic of the G string and touch our trem arm. I like grabbing that harmonic with my index finger just because that's kind of the finger that's already on that string, but you could probably grab with whatever finger you want to as long as you get it nice and clean. So let's take that whole section nice and slow. So in this next section, um, we're kind of looping the chord progression C, D, B minor, E minor. Again. So we loop that a couple times and we just play it differently each time, but for the most part we play it the same. So here it goes. So for C, we're going to bring our thumb over the top, 8th fret of the E string, ring finger gets the 10th of A, middle gets the, um, the 9 of G, and index gets the 8 of B. So if we think about this as being, we're kind of playing this shape right here. But we're just uh, removing the note on the D string, just fingering it a little different. But that's a C for the most part. Now we're going to strike the open D string. So my index finger is barring the 7th fret of the G and B. My middle finger is on the 8th fret of the B. So that's, that's what that sounds like to start. We're going to hammer the pinky onto the 10th fret of B. Strike it again. Strike it one more time. Pull off to the 8th fret of the B string. 
and then pull that, in, that middle finger off to the seventh fret of the B string. So now we're gonna bring the thumb over the top to the seventh fret of the low E string. Um, ring finger gets the nine of A, and the index finger gets the seven of G, which it already was there when we came off of the D. So if we can kind of think about this as being a major shape, that would be like our minor shape right there. Kind of like that, but again, we're just fingering it a little differently, so. So, gonna re-strike that G string, um, put the ring finger on the ninth fret and slide it up to the 11. Strike the open E string, and then we're gonna take our index finger and bar it on the 12th fret of the D and G and hammer our ring finger up to the 14th fret. Then we're gonna slide that index finger down to the seventh fret of the D and G. Um, put our ring finger on the ninth fret of the D. Then strike with the middle finger on the uh, eighth fret of the D and pull off, so. Grab the pinky on the um, 10th fret of the A string and then we're gonna um, bar the index on the A and D, ninth fret, hammer the ring finger up to the ninth fret, pinky grabs the 10, and then we're back to our C, D, B minor, E progression. So that's all the same, second time around. First time around, Second time around. Now's where it changes. Um, for E, we're gonna hop up. So, um, take that pinky, slide it up to the 15th fret of B. And then index. On the 12th fret, got the hammer on back up to the 15th fret. And then strike that 12th fret of the E string. And then we have... I'm kind of just thinking about like that really comfortable position of the pentatonic scale there. Honestly, most of this, I'm. it's like he's basically pulling out of the five pentatonic shapes and he's connecting them. So if you don't know about the five pentatonic shapes and, and how they connect and how to apply them to keys, I have a playlist of videos, definitely check that out. So after that little pentatonic lick, we're back to our progression again. So that's basically the same. Gonna strike that open E string. 12th fret of G. Hop down to the ninth fret of G, slide up to the 11. Index finger grabs a seven of G, and then ring finger grabs. So that's seven to nine on the D string. Index grabs a seven of G. Slide back down to seven on D, pull off to five on D. So. Um, strike the A string now. We're going from the seventh fret on the D string and letting that A string ring, ring out under all of this. So that's seven, nine, 10, eight on the, uh, the B string. Open E, back to B, and then sliding from the 10 down to the nine. So. Mateus grabs with his middle finger here and uses his pinky for the harmonics. I find it a little more comfortable to go thumb over the top and use my 
index finger for the harmonics, either way, um, whatever is more comfortable for you. But that seventh fret of the E, harmonic on D, then B, then G. And then you wanna kinda dive bomb. Because then we're going into the next section. So let's take that whole section nice and slow. So in this next section, this is kind of cool. We, we hit a key change. Um, so we're no longer in E minor, we're in E major. Um, so we're starting right off on C sharp minor. So we've got thumb over the top, ring finger on the 11th fret of A, index is barring D and G. We're gonna grab the ninth fret there. Um, hops up to the 11 of D, take that whole shape down to the 4th fret, and then pick, pick again to pull off to the bar, pinky grabs the 7 of A, index grabs the 4 of A. And then we're kind of using that same shape again, so that's... So we're gonna grab thumb over the top of the second fret of the E string. Um, ring finger gets the four of A. Index gets the two of G, but we're gonna bend it in a way that's kind of, like is it, you know, is this an F sharp major or is it an F sharp minor? It's kind of ambiguous. So um, Take the ring finger. Slide it from the fourth fret of the G up to the six. Then we're gonna go down to, um, this, is, this is like a G sharp. Um, so we have thumb over the top from the fourth fret of the E string, index grabbing the four of D, ring grabbing the five of G. Slide that ring finger up one fret to the sixth fret. And then index is gonna grab the four of B, middle's gonna hammer on to the five of B. Then you're gonna strike the open A string while hitting this little dyad thing here. So um, middle finger on the nine of D, index on the, uh, be the eight of G. We're gonna slide up one fret, back down one fret, down two frets, strike the open string, the open E string. have this little pentatonic lick. So to take this nice and slow, we have 11 on D, 9 on E, 11 on G, 12 on B. And we're gonna do a trill with our ring finger on the 11 of G. or pulling off to the nine of G. So then I'm gonna take my ring finger on the nine of A, slide it up to 11. And then we got double stops. I'm not gonna dive too much into that. Um, I think you guys kind of get it by this point. So this part's tricky. Mateus uses his index finger and ring finger um, the entire time, um, but we basically have a series of little dyads. 
So this would be like minor, major, minor, minor again, major. So we're basically, if you know the number system, we're going two, one, seven, six, five. Um, I like to use my ring finger um, and my index finger when it's minor and then use my index and middle when it's major. Um, so, so that's kind of taking the two, slide up. I'll try not to use the number system. So we're on, we're on nine and seven, down to seven and six. I'm using my middle finger and index. Mateus will use his ring and index. That's uncomfortable for me and I can never get it clean. Now we have six and four. Strike again. So that's slide up one fret, back down one fret, down two frets. And we're gonna go, index is gonna drop down one fret but the note on the A string is gonna drop down two frets and now we're back to kind of our major shape. So all of that is happening on the A and D string um, and you're picking twice. That's honestly, I think that's one of the hardest parts of this entire piece, just to be able to get that to ring out all the way through and to get it nice and clean. Um, so don't stress too much over it, give it, give it time. So, that's, uh, that's the whole section. Let's take it nice and slow. chord at the very end of the last section now we're back to E minor so so we're basically just pulling the same cycle of chords C major uh, D major B minor E minor that we played in the previous section again on E minor we're gonna have a different ending now this time so now here's where it changes Let's go through it. Hammer up to the ninth fret. Slide up to the 14th fret. So as you're sliding, you're gonna hit that low E string. And then you wanna um, bend that G string. Um, kind of thinking like you're hitting like the 16th note on the, uh, the G string. And then the pentatonic lick is as follows. So, 12 on the E, 12 on the B, 15 on the B, 14 on the G. So we're going trill up to 15, back down to 14, pull off to 12, slide down to 11. Then we have 14 on D, 12 on D, 14 on A. Then we have a trill on 12. So up to 13, back down to 12. Index on the 10, and then all of that was on the A string. We have 12 on E, 10 on A, hammer up to 12 on A. He hits um, 10 again on the A string and he kind of like does that little, kind of goes crazy on it. <laughs> so. And then back to our cycle of chords. So that 
was like the the last time through um, when we played this progression before in the other section so that shouldn't look new to you um, then rather than doing the the sliding thing that we did on the a we're not going to do that so that's open a ring finger on the five of g three on the e and b now i noticed that he fingers it this way, but I never hear the note that he, maybe I'm just, maybe I'm just missing it, but I never hear the note that he hits on the D string. If you want to make it exactly like the way he does it, you can do it that way, but um, that just looks fancier. Virtually the same thing. Um, unless he's hitting both the A string and the, uh, the seventh fret of the D string at the same time. But I don't know, I just, because it's more comfortable and it, I think it sounds exactly the same. Uh, then we're gonna, hit, we're gonna do like a B minor and hit some harmonics again in the same way that we kind of finished out this phrase the last time around. Um, but rather than doing, we're gonna start at the high E string and work our way down to G. Touch your trim arm a couple times. Let's do this whole section. Nice and slow. section home stretch gonna finish it out nice and easy we're gonna repeat that phrase you've already done that We've already done that now we're gonna take our index finger hit the C and uh, we're gonna grab harmonics on the G string the, the uh, B string and the E string just 12th fret and I'm touching that with my pinky so that nice and slow. All right, so here is all of Dear Jimmy, nice and slow.
found this video to be helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.